created a list with 50 viral videos, and today I'm going to test all of them to see if they are true or false. I want to find out if it's possible to heat meat like this. But the first one is this one here. In the video, he's throwing a bunch of ender pearls down there on top of some water that seems to be bubbling. Now he's going down there to activate his TNT machine. And when they explode, all those ender pearls will be thrown far away, and he'll teleport like crazy. And to test if this works, I've already built the TNT machine here. Now I just need to come inside this tunnel. Place the soul sand down here, and now fill it with water inside. Now with this, the bubbles will start to rise and I can begin to throw the ender pearls. They're starting to fly up there. I need to throw a bunch to make it look like the video. There, I think this amount is good enough. Now I just need to come over here, break this redstone, place a button, and see if this will work. Will they push the ender pearls? Oh my god, they throw them all far away. And wow, I'm teleporting like crazy. And this was only the least viral one. As we go down the list, the videos will get even cooler. Until we get to the mysterious one and the one about heating meat to turn it into a mineral. Is it true? But the next one is this one here. In this video, he teaches that if you use this command and then set it to repeat and always active, blocks will start appearing everywhere you walk. And to test if this works, I'm gonna put the command in here and now set it to repeat and always active. Let's see if it works. Oh my god, oh my god, blocks are appearing everywhere I walk. And the best part is that if I come in here, I can change this word to say diamond. And now wherever I walk, diamond blocks will appear. This video is also true. But now let's go to the next one. And in it, the guy teaches how to make an elytra. He places a diamond chest plate and a phantom membrane with paper on top and gunpowder below, and it works. I'm going to test this then. Let me place the crafting table. And now getting everything the guy used. He had six membranes, also paper. And lastly, there was the gunpowder. Now I just need to put them in the same position. This part here in the corners, and now the paper on top and the gunpowder down here. And oh no, it didn't work. This video was false. But now the next one is this video here. And look, in the video, he places a bunch of pistons facing the block. And after that, he places the redstone to keep them activated. Then he goes with a magic stick and manages to turn the piston. This way, it really looks like the block is pushing the piston. What a crazy thing. To test this, I'm going to pull some blocks up here and I'll place some pistons facing it. Now I come to the side of each one and place the redstone block to keep them activated. Then I just need to enchant the stick. Let me place the enchantment table here and enchant it. No enchantment appears. That's not how it works, Cadres. The only way to get it enchanted is with this command here. Now test it. Okay, let me try it then. And oh my god, this actually works. And I can rotate the piston any way I want. And now if I break this block here, when I break it, it disappears. Actually, the only way for it not to disappear is by using this stick on the piston as well. Then I can break it and it will really look like it. A block pushing the pistons. What a crazy thing. But this video is also true. Now let's move on to the fifth video. And in it, the guy's gonna make TNT that will activate depending on the time you want. Like, look, he set it for 40 seconds. And in 40 seconds, it will explode. And to test if this works, I'll do it just like he did. He placed a candle on top. In the corners, he placed some signs. In front, he placed an item frame with a clock. And right here below, he set the time he wants. Since I'm in a bit of a hurry, I'm gonna set it to 5 seconds. Now I just need to light it up and wait for the time. Oh, it didn't explode. Actually, to make this work, he made a redstone system under his bomb. And if I recreate the system just like he did, the timer will work too. That means this video is also true. Now the next one on the list that I'm gonna test is this one. And in it, the guy made a submarine that works underwater. Well, this really worked. And he hardly used any blocks to achieve it. But to see if this is true, I went underwater here. And I'm going to start building exactly like he did. There was a glass block right in this position. Then here at the bottom, there were three slime blocks. And in the middle part, he placed a rail on top of a minecart. Now I break this rail here. Then I pull this slime block over here. Place an observer facing that block. In a piston in front of it. Now I just need to pull these two slime blocks over here and place a piston facing this way with an observer facing it. And to test if this will work, I just need to come back here and place some dirt. Oh my god, this really works. And I think my submarine crashed, but at least this video is true. So let's move on to the next one. But hurry up, because I really want to find out if this one is true. Next video then is this one where the guy placed a diamond block there. He placed a redstone torch, stone, and dirt on top. Wait, now he placed a dispenser. What is he trying to do with this? He's putting potions in the dispensers. And he's gonna throw the potion on the sword. Now he's gonna throw the second one in. What? He made a super rare sword with this. And when he holds it, he gets super fast. Wow, I'm gonna test this because I really wanna get that sword. He placed it right here beside him. This torch so. And then I just need to pull it up. Place a dirt block here. Now I place a dispenser facing down. Place the button here in front. Oh, I also need to break this dirt to place this torch. And then I just come here, place the netherite sword. I'm even gonna leave it in the same position as his so nothing goes 
was wrong. And now the last thing left is to place the potions in here. I activate it again and I got the... Ugh, this is so frustrating. This video is fake. The next video on the list is this one. The guy is going to show how to make a circle with minecarts in Minecraft. To do this, he placed a normal rail there. And now he's covering it with honey. Around the rail, he's going to grab a bunch of minecarts and fill them up on that rail. And he's really going to fill it up because it's a lot. And after placing over 100, he closes it with a block of honey, gets inside the minecart so they start moving, goes under the minecart, and then breaks the rail. He gets inside the minecart and magically they will form a circle. Cadres, that's impossible. I don't know, Bella. Let's test it. The guy placed a rail on top, then he put a bunch of honey around it. I'm managing to place a bunch of minecarts in there. And now that there are over 100, I close this corner, move it here in the middle, just like in the video. And when it stops moving a little bit, which is now, I break this block along with the rail underneath. Now I just need to close it and move it again here and also get on top of it. Oh my god, look at this. It actually made a circle. I can't believe it. This one is true too. But will the next one also be true? In this one, the guy shows how to make an invisible secret passage. To do this, he placed a glass barrier in front and then started filling it with item frames. And inside the item frames, he placed these maps with a stone pattern. He even placed it in front of where he could enter. I really want to see if this will work. So to do it like in the video, first I need to open up where my base is going to be. Then I place the glass in front of everything and even leave a space on the side, which will be where I enter. Then he came and started placing item frames, but he didn't use this one. Actually, he got an invisible item frame and look how it looks when I place it. But after placing it all, I just need to get the map and place it here. But this map doesn't look like stone. To make it look like stone, I'll need to go really far away. And now it's generating a new map here, but it's still not stone. To turn it into stone, I need to use this command here to turn this whole place into stone. And now look how the map turned out. But I still don't know if this will work. To test it, I need to place the map in front and oh my god, it looks like it's working. It can't be. To be really sure, I need to see if I can enter. I'm going to place the invisible frame in front and I'll place the map here too. And This turned out perfect and the best part is that I can even enter my secret base. So let's move on to the next one where the guy shows a rocket that works in Minecraft without any mod. To do this, he placed some white blocks there and now connected them all with slime. After that, he's placing more slime around and a piston in the middle. And look, now he's placing observers in the corners. And on top, he had to place another minecart. And below, he placed a block and the rocket took off. Let me see if this is really true. First, he places the blocks like this. Then he connects them all with a slime block. And then he places an observer with a piston right here in the middle. After that, he had to stick all these parts of the piston and place two more slimes on top. And then he came here to the corners and placed the observers. And under each of these observers, he placed pistons. And after that, I just need to place a block here, the minecart on top. And the rocket will work as soon as I place the block here. Oh my god, it's working. It's really working. And the best part is that I can even sit on it. The rocket is taking me higher and higher. And since we've already seen that this myth is also true, let's move on to the next one. Wait, this one is about how to make a giant iron golem. To do this, the first thing the guy does is show us that it's possible to make a normal iron golem. Everyone knows that, but then he made a much larger totem and placed the pumpkin on top. And with that, a huge giant iron golem was born. And to test this, I already built the two that he used in the video. The first one here works, and now it's time for the coolest part, right? The giant one. I have the normal Minecraft pumpkin, and now I'm going to come and place it on the head. The tiny one was born here on top. It was supposed to be huge. Oh, how frustrating. This video is fake. And the next one on the list, he's going to teach how to walk on water with a minecart. To do this, he placed some rails and then put a bunch of soul sand under the water, connecting it to another rail on the other side. And when he tries to walk over it, the minecart kind of bounces and rides over the water, even without a rail. Let's see if this works then. First, he places the rails, he even activates them, and I'm just going to place a wall here in front so it doesn't go too far. Then I come to the other side in the same line and place the rails here too. Then in the space where there's no rail, I break it and place the soul sand. Let me see if it's working to push me up. It is. It's pushing me all right. I just don't know if it'll push the minecart. Let me place it here in the corner. Now get inside and oh my god, I'm walking on water. But it's much slower than in the video, you know. So that means this video is half true and half false. Now the next one on the list, he's going to teach how to make a circle using villagers. And to do this, he needed the help of a command block. He placed the secret commands there in the middle. He even showed that there are some villagers standing still. And now when he activates this command in his chat, villagers start appearing around and they keep increasing to form a circle. Look at how bizarre this is. The best part is that when they all connect, they form a perfect circle around that villager. And apparently it also lags. But I don't care. I'm going to test it. I've already placed the first villager here. And now the others have to appear around him. Now for this to work, I need to come and activate this command block. Look at this. Villagers are already appearing around. And the best 
part is that it really makes a perfect circle around him. I didn't even need that command in the chat that the guy used in the video. But I think I'm overdoing it with the villagers now. They can't even stay on the same block because of how many villagers there are. They're suffocating. But this video is also true. Now let's find out if the next one is too. Cadres, you're getting close to the last one. That's true. But now the next one is a video on how to get infinite gold. And to do this, first he smelts the gold he got in the nether and gets a gold ingot. Then he transforms them all into nuggets. And with these nuggets, he makes more nether gold blocks. And he just goes there and mines everything with his pickaxe. That way, the nether gold ore turned into eight. To see if this works, then I switch to survival. And now I'm gonna try to smelt this. Okay, it's smelting. Let's see if this first one is gonna turn into a gold ingot. Now with it, I just need to turn this into a gold nugget, place this nugget in the middle, and put the nether rack around it. But wait, it didn't craft anything. Oh man, I thought I was gonna get rich with all this gold. This video is fake. So let's move on to the next one then. And in this one, the guy is gonna teach how to make the most satisfying thing in Minecraft. All because he filled it with shulker blocks along with pistons. And then if he throws a snowball in the corner, look at what happens to the pistons. They keep going up and down all the time. This is so satisfying. To do this, I need to alternate between the shulkers and these piston blocks here. And they're already activating because I'm making noise with the piston. But that doesn't mean anything that the video is true. I need to finish placing them to see if they will keep going up and down in the same position as in that video. There, I finished making the whole square. And I've got the snowball to test it. So I just need to come here to the corner and throw it in. Wow, it's starting to go up. But it's going up all crooked. Oh, I thought I was gonna have a satisfying Minecraft. But the only thing I managed to do was get a completely glitched Minecraft, you know? So now the next one on my list is gonna show how to make confetti in Minecraft. And in the video, he digs a hole down and places repeaters. Then he puts redstone to activate the whole circuit and a torch on top. Then he placed the dispenser, which is where the confetti is going to come from. He's even decorating the dispenser around with colorful blocks and even put a pressure plate on top. Then he put the fireworks in and placed cobwebs on top. What's the cobweb for? The cobweb holds the fireworks and turns them into real confetti. I hope this works, cadres. I'm going to test it. Okay, I'll help you then. The first part we need to do is dig the hole. Now inside it, I'll place the repeaters and connect everything with these redstones. Then I run them down here and place a torch in front. Don't forget to set them to level four. Now I come up here and place a dispenser and also cover up this hole. And inside it, I'll put the fireworks. While you're doing that, I'll decorate the outside. And I also need to place the cobwebs on top. And to make it work, just place this lever. And now I activate it and look, it's working. It's beautiful. Now there's real confetti in Minecraft because this video is true. But now let's move on to the next one on the list. Cadres, which shows how to place lava underwater. And to do this, the guy puts lava inside a cauldron. Wait, he takes damage from the lava under the water. Can't believe this works, so I'm gonna test it. First, the guy placed blocks here on the side, and on this last block here, he placed the cauldron with lava. Then I come up here and push the cauldron down using pistons. But it's still on top of the water, so I need to activate it more time. Now that it's well under the water, I can remove these blocks and test if I'll catch fire. But actually, I'm not gonna test it myself. I called Kai to test it. This isn't going to burn, Cadres. That's what we're gonna see. What's happening? Are you burning? Yeah, I think this video is true too. So let's move on to the next one, which is about infinite obsidian. And to make it, the guy dug a hole down and he's making a redstone system to glitch Minecraft and get infinite obsidian. He even placed a hopper there to collect all the obsidian and placed a dispenser and a pressure plate. I'm not getting this anymore. Wait a minute, now he put water there with a fence on top. And then he placed lava next to it and a bunch of obsidian appeared. Let me go and do exactly what he did. He dug a hole here, then he placed the chest down here and connected a bunch of hoppers to that chest. Then in the middle part, he broke two blocks and placed observers facing each other. So they're always activated. After that, he places a dispenser on top, puts water here too, and look, it's appearing and disappearing just like in the video. But in the video, he also placed a fence on top, probably to make the glitch work. And after he did that, he just went inside and placed the lava bucket too. Will it work? Only the water is appearing, the water is flowing here. Where's the lava bucket? It disappeared. Oh, it didn't work because the lava bucket ended up in the chest. This one is another fake video. So let's move on to the next one. Because in it, we're going to see how to make the strongest TNT in all of Minecraft. And to do it, he starts by placing some rails and puts a TNT at the end. After that, he places a pressure plate and on top of the rail, he fills a minecart with TNT. Then after placing many, many TNTs, he throws an item on top of the pressure plate. My God, just with that, he made a giant explosion. I don't know if this is gonna work, but to avoid any risk, I'm going far away so I don't blow up anything important. To make it in Minecraft, I'll place the block here. Then I'll place the rails on the side and pull them far away, just like in the video. Now I go to the end of each side and place the TNT. And here in the middle, I place this wooden pressure plate. Now the only thing left is to put the minecarts with TNT on top. I'll 
help you too, so the explosion will be huge. Just a little more. I think that's enough now. Counting all the minecarts we placed, it's 257. If this doesn't make a mega explosion, the video is definitely fake. But that's what we're gonna find out now. I just have to go up here, now throw an item on the pressure plate, and they're activated. Wow, look at the size of the explosion. Yeah, I think this video is true. Let's move on to the next one then. Because in this video, he's gonna show how to make these rails flow. To do this, the guy first creates an end portal. Then he places some dirt blocks in the middle and first places the rail. After he activates it, the rail floats. There's nothing underneath it. And it even works. Let me see if this will work though. First, I need to make the portal here at the corners. Now I come here in the middle, place the grass blocks, and on top, I place the rail. I'll even leave the minecart here. Then I grab the Eye of Ender and come here to activate the portal. I just place it in all of them in the portal. It should activate. It didn't. You placed it wrong. It's like this. Look, let me place the eye. It worked. No, but wait. It's still not floating. There's a block underneath it. Yeah, even if it's the portal block. But to see if this works, first I need to break these blocks on the outside. And now with a command, remove the portal and it broke. Everything broke. Now the next one. He's going to show how to become the slowest person in all of Minecraft. Slower than a snail. But to do this, he places a bunch of honey blocks on the corners. Then in the middle, he breaks the dirt and places soul sand. After that, he places cobwebs on top. And to make it even slower, he switched to survival mode to drink a slowness potion and even grabbed a bow to aim, making him much, much slower. Look at that. It looks like he's not even moving, but he is. But I think he's moving at a speed of 0.01. But I think this video is a lie. You can't go that slow, but let's test it. Okay, the first part is placing the honey around him, breaking the ground here. Then I place the soul sand here because just with these two things, I'll already be slow. But it's not that slow. That's why the next part is the cobweb. This makes me slow, but I'm still kind of fast. So drink this potion like in the video and hold this bow to see if you'll get slower. Okay, first is the potion. I drank it here and I'm already really slow. But now let me get in the middle of the cobweb. Wow, I'm really slow. And if I pull the bow, I get even slower. But Cadres, this isn't the slowest speed in Minecraft. What do you mean it's not? I'm really slow. Look, it doesn't even seem like I'm moving. To get super slow, you also need to crouch. Now you're really slow. Oh, but Bella, that doesn't even count because you're not even moving. So that means that video was true. No, it's fake. I just proved it. Oh, stop it and let's just move on to the next one. And in it, I'll be able to climb using a rope in Minecraft. To do this, he places a fence on top. Then he places a boat. And he pulls the boat with a rope. I didn't even know you could do that, but now he's breaking down below. He's going to try to push the boat so it gets stuck down there and the rope stays up. Now he goes behind and places dispensers in front of the dispenser. He places the water and because there's soul sand there, bubbles start coming out. After that, he puts empty buckets under all the dispensers and activates all the buckets to make the water disappear, leaving only the bubbles. Wow, just with that, it looks like he's climbing because of the rope. Let's test this right away then. I'll place the blocks here that I want to climb. Now up here, I place the fence where I'll connect that rope. But to connect the rope, I need to place the boat down here and now attach the rope to it. Can't attach it? I can't. So he must have done this in another version. So I'll improvise. I attach it up here and it's flying. But I need to keep it down here. So I'll dig a hole where it will stay trapped and even place soul sand at the bottom. Now I just need to put the rope on the chicken and attach it up here. Then I close this spot and look, the rope part is already working. But I'm still not climbing with it. To climb, I need to place water and the dispensers here. So I'll place the dispensers. Now I come in front of each one and place a bucket of water and the bubbles are already starting to appear. But to prevent the water from getting in the way, right? I need to go behind each one. Place the empty bucket. Then I activate all these dispensers to remove all the water and also replace this part here with stone blocks. Oh, but I think this is working. I'm sure. Let me test it then. I'll go up here and I can climb up the road. That means this myth is true, right? Actually, no. This doesn't work. What made me climb was Bella who gave me levitation. But that makes me climb anywhere. Even in the middle of nowhere. That means this is also fake. So let's move on to the next one. Because in this one, he says you can craft an end crystal. This is very easy. He just placed the glass there, the eye of ender, and the gas tear below. If this works, I'll give you 10 diamonds. Oh yeah, you'll see. It will work. I just need to go to the crafting table. Now place the glass around, the eye of ender in the middle, and now the gas tear below. And it worked. It worked, Bella. Give me the diamonds. Give me the diamonds. Oh, I'm in creative. I can get a bunch. Oh, that's true, huh? But wait, can you place it on the ground too? Try placing it on top of this obsidian here. I placed it and it really appears. You can even blow it up. This video is true. But now, Cadres, let's get to the video about cooking meat. I want to see if it's true. No, we have to follow the order. And this is video 30 where he shows how to explode TNT underwater. Oh, that doesn't work. Look. It's going to explode. Yeah, it didn't destroy anything. But let's 
let's watch the video where he teaches how to do it. To make the TNT explode, first he places it, then some sand on top, and then he activates it. This way, when it explodes, it'll destroy everything, even under what? Oh, that doesn't work. I'll test it. First, I'll place the TNT, sand on top, and now I'll activate it. Look, the sand went inside it. Now let's see if it will explode. It really destroyed it! This video we've already seen is true! But something that's way cooler, Bella, is how to make TNT not explode outside of water. Huh, what do you mean it explodes? Look! Yeah, if you place it normally, it will explode! But if I place the TNT here, an anvil on top, activate it and see if anything happens. It's here in the normal world, no water, and it didn't explode at all. But now let's move on to the next one, where he shows how to make a super secret portal using beacons. And to do it, he built a normal nether portal, then place slime around it. And if he breaks it, the portal gets stuck in the slime. And with that, he can place the beacon all around it and make a super secret portal. And as if that wasn't enough, he's still going to break everything around it. To place the iron blocks and make the beacon activate so the portal works. Let's see if this works then. The first part is the nether portal, so I activate it and place the slime all around it. After that, I just have to break the obsidian here and the portal will stay intact inside. Wanna see? It didn't stay. That video is fake. Not even the first part worked. Oh, so frustrating. The next one must be true. And in it, he's going to show how to get infinite XP. And to do it, the guy made a redstone system, so when he flips this lever, XP starts coming out and it never stops. This machine is awesome! And to make it, it's very easy. Just place wood here in these corners in the middle part. I place this plank here, and in the bottom part, the red wood. Then I place the lever and activate it, and wow, look at this! I'm getting infinite XP! I told you, this myth is also true! Oh, wait, actually, it's not true at all. He just used a command to make XP appear wherever you want. This video is also fake. But now the next video is for those who almost don't have any carpets because he's going to show how to get infinite carpets. And to do it, the guy just made a machine using slime. And when he activates it, carpets start flying everywhere. And after watching the video closely, I saw that he made this machine by placing the piston here. Then in front, just place the two slime blocks. Then place an observer facing that way and put the carpet on top. And after that, the only thing left is to place the lever and see if this works. Slew and the other carpet is here. And the best part is that if I come here and keep clicking, the carpet keeps flying nonstop. And now that I've seen this is true, let me move on to the next one on the list, which is a video showing that you can fish a person. And look, in the video, he's there with the fishing rod, and he managed to fish. He managed to fish his friend. But wait, now he's climbing a tower. He's gonna fish his friend from up there. Look, he managed to do it from there, too. Wait, his friend didn't survive the fall. To test this, I'm gonna build a really, really tall tower. And now I'll grab the fishing rod to try to fish my buddy Kai. No, let me go. I'm not a fish. I can already see that I can pull him if I'm close. Look. I hook him here and can pull, but it's not much. That's why I'll climb up this tower to pull him up here. Uh, that's not going to work, cadres. That's what we're about to find out. I hooked him. Wow, he came up even higher than me. Wow, this video was true too. Now, the next video on the list is one that shows that Minecraft doesn't make any sense. Because he goes in front of a big platform, places an anvil, it doesn't drop. But if he throws a feather, it drops. He also shows it with a dripstone. He drops a tiny one from up high, and the villager dies. But if he drops a big one, the villager stays alive. Let me start them by making the big platform. I'm going to place these gold blocks here side by side. Now I'm going to throw the anvil on top and it doesn't seem to be falling. But what if I throw the feather? Will it fall? And my god, it falls with a feather. But to test if that video is really true, I've already set up both with the dripstone. And now I'll break the small one. And the villager died just from the small one. But now I'll test with this one, which is huge and should deal much more damage. The villager survived. Apparently Minecraft really doesn't make sense. And that video was true. But now the next video will teach how to break a chest and still have the item stay inside it. And to do that, first he shows that he makes a pickaxe with silk touch. Then around the chest, he places sponges and then he puts water inside it and breaks it with the pickaxe. And then the chest comes with all the items inside. And the items won't drop out. To test if this works, look. First I'll put the diamonds in here. And if I break it with a normal pickaxe, yeah, it'll drop all the diamonds out. But if I come here and enchant this pickaxe with silk touch, place the chest there. Now inside it, I put the diamonds and put the sponges around it. When I break this chest, the diamonds inside are supposed to come with it. Oh wait, the water came back. Huh, I put water, but it disappeared. The sponge absorbed it. Oh, but if it's gonna work, it will work anyway. Let me grab my pickaxe here, and now I'm breaking this chest. And Everything came to me. But this didn't work. How did that guy do it in the video? The only way to get a chest with stuff inside is by right-clicking it with the mouse. Done, everything's here. Wow, this way I can copy as many chests as I want. But now let's go 
to the next video because it will teach how to have fake diamonds that you can't even pick up. He used this command to make the diamond appear and look. After he climbs on top of it, he can't pick up the diamond at all. To see if this works, I came here in the middle of nowhere. And now I'm going to activate the command for the diamond to appear. But I still won't test if I can pick it up or not. Actually, I'm going to leave it there to troll my friend if this video works and he'll think he got rich. Oh, look, he's already coming. Wow, I hit the jackpot. There's a diamond here. Why can't I pick it up? Wow, this myth is true too. You can't pick up this diamond. Now let's go to the next video because it will show more things that don't make sense in Minecraft. And look, it shows that a dragon egg isn't broken by an anvil, even though it's very heavy. Nor is it broken by gravel, even though there are several blocks and much less by arrow. But by a simple torch, it is broken. And everyone knows that the anvil part, the gravel part, and even the arrow part really don't work. You can't break this dragon egg with that. But to test with a torch, I'll place it here on top. And I'll break this last block, grab a torch here, and place it underneath. Now I can break this block, and when I break the one on top, it'll fall right there. And will this work? Let me break it to find out. And it really broke because of a torch. With each video, Minecraft gets weirder. But let's move on to the next one. And here, he's going to teach how to make a diamond TNT. And look, to make it, they placed a piston on each side. TNT on the left side, and diamond on the right. And now they activated both. And wow, it made a diamond TNT. And when it explodes, diamonds even appear around it. To test if this works, I'll place the piston here, the diamond in front, then place another piston on the other side with the dynamite. And we run redstone around everything and place the button in the middle. But now when we activate this button, these two will join together. So let me come here in front of the button and click it. And look, it works. But now let me activate it, Cadres, to see if diamonds appear. Look, it's going to explode. Wow, a bunch of diamonds appeared. This video was fake. Actually, the only way for this TNT to appear is with a texture pack. But let's quickly move on to the next one, which will show how to build something in seconds. Ah, you already know this one, right? Using pre-built structures. I don't use pre-built structures, and the video isn't teaching that either. To do this, he first places lava on top of a tower, and the lava starts flowing down. Then he places a block on top and puts water on it. Then the construction gets done in no time. I've already built this tower. And now first, I'll put the lava up here and wait for it to flow down to the bottom. And wow, it's flowing through all the blocks. And look, it's finally reaching the bottom. Now that it's reached the bottom, I just need to go up top and place this block here with water on top of it. And now it's gonna flow and make the stone construction. Wow, it seems to be working. It looks like it's working. All parts are turning into stone. It can't be that this actually works. While it's flowing down, I'll go up and cover where it's coming from. Because then it will keep flowing and the construction will appear. And with just this, we already have a huge construction where we could even live inside it. It's true that inside isn't very pretty though, but at least this video is true. So to not waste time, let's check out the next one. Do this one, Cadres. Do this on... No, Bella. This one is last. First, we need to test this one. It will show how to make a super strong TNT. To make it, the guy places a command block and inside it, he puts summon TNT minecart and sets it to always active in repeat mode. Wow, with just that, a bunch of minecarts start appearing on top of the command block. Then he places a dispenser with a fireball inside, which will activate the TNTs. Will it really be such a big explosion? Wow, look at the size of the explosion. It even flew upward. To test if this works, I'll grab a command block. And now I'll put the same command he used in the video, which is to spawn TNT minecart, then set it to repeat and always active. And wow, look at this. A bunch of TNT minecarts are really appearing. But now I need to be quick. I'll place a dispenser here, then put the fireball inside it and grab the redstone to connect it to where I'll activate it. In this case, it will be this button here. And now are you ready, Bella? I don't think I I'm am. I'm going to explode it anyway. Here it goes. It seems to be activating. Wow, look at all the TNT minecarts exploding upwards. Wow, I think I placed way more TNT minecarts than that guy in the video. Look at the size of that crater. But now, the next video will show how to make the perfect machine. Now he places observers next to each one. Now behind these observers, I place redstone to attach to the pistons. But it's not attaching. This way it won't work. Hold on, I'll replace this redstone with a target block. There we go. Now it's starting to work. Look, just need to do this behind all of them. And this way, the machine is ready. If I place a block here in front, it should start working. So let me go here to test it. And wow, it's really pushing. And it's exactly at the moment when one isn't pushing, the other is. This seems like witchcraft. But at least the video is also true. But now let's move on to video number 44. And in this one, he'll show how to put a sword inside a block. To do this first, he places this block and activates it with glowstone. Then he places an armor stand on top. Turns it upside down using a name tag. And makes it move so the sword gets embedded. Then he just throws an invisibility potion. And it looks like this. How cool. To test it, I'll do it in my house. First, I need to place glowstone. And even the nether portal particle has appeared here. Now I'll place an armor stand on top. Put the sword on it. 
make it turn upside down. Huh, it's not staying. Oh, I can't even place the sword here. This video is fake. But let's see if the next one is true. In this video, the guy shows how to make lasers that cause damage without any mod. To do this, he placed some fences underneath, then put a snow block on top. And every time he activates the beacons, they appear and you can't pass through them at all. But if he deactivates them, he can pass through without any problem. To do this, I first need to dig a hole here and place the fences and I also need to leave them open. Now I close up the wall and I can place any block on top. Then I break this part at the bottom and place red glass so the laser is red and I place the beacons underneath. But to activate them, I need to break more blocks here to place iron blocks. Now I just need to go inside and activate anything. And look, the laser is already appearing here. But the problem is that it's not causing damage yet and I can still pass through it. To make it cause damage, I need to place a command block with this command. And now I just place a lever here on the side and connect it to the gates. And now when I click this lever, the laser disappears. But if I click it again, it reappears. And the best part is that if I try to pass through it, I can't and I still take damage. That means this video is true. And now the next one, it will show how to make a block that's impossible to have in Minecraft. And this block is like a slab, but sideways. To make it, the guy puts water, places a fence in the middle, redstone on the side, and then explodes. What? Did he really manage that? To do this, I first need to dig a hole in the ground, then I place water in the corners just so it doesn't explode the dirt. And place it right in the middle. Now I can remove this TNT because it won't go there. Actually, it will come in front of these redstone blocks. And when I place it, we'll find out if it works. So I'll put one here on the left and now on the right and oh my god, it worked, it worked. I made an impossible block in Minecraft. But now in video 47, he'll show how to trap villagers inside a composter. To do this, he placed a composter below and made a sort of tunnel for villagers to reach it. Then he put a bunch of villagers inside and just broke the bottom part and they fell in tiny. To avoid it going wrong, I'll do it just like in the video. He pulled the grass block, so I'll pull it up too. And now here in the middle, I'll leave the space villagers will stay. Now I'll pull this down until it's right above the composter. And the only thing left is to fill it with villagers. And now it's going down to the bottom and breaking it so they fall in tiny. Oh, I missed this block. Now fall in tiny. Oh no, there are only baby villagers, but they're not tiny. Actually, what the guy did was place normal villagers on top. Then he cut the video and activated this command. And with that, the villagers become tiny look. And of course, when I break it, they fall into the composter. But this video is just a mod, so it's fake. But the next one also involves villagers. And in this one, the guy activated a command in the command block. And everywhere he looks, villagers appear. That doesn't make any sense. To test this, I'll enter this command and set it to repeat. And now, if I click this lever, everywhere I look, villagers will appear. Look, I can even make a circle using them. This video is true, too. But now, finally, we've reached the mysterious video, the most famous of all. And this video here is one where the guy manages to make a portal that leads to another dimension. But besides that, Herobrine even comes out of this portal. And the coolest part is that he can make various portals, even tiny ones and huge ones. To test this, I've made several types of portals. And since in the video he used water with an axolotl, I've got that too. I just need to come here, place the water, and what's this? Did Herobrine appear? Oh, I need to run. Oh, wait. You fell. This video is fake. That portal doesn't even exist, cadres. Oh, how annoying. But now it's time for the most anticipated one. I really want to see if this is real. In the video, the guy first kills a cow, then puts it in a furnace and places coal underneath. And wait, after it heats up, it turns into a bar, like a mineral, but from the cow's meat. To test this, I'll first place the furnace, and now I need to get some beef from a cow. So I come here, cow. Whoa. Good, I got the meat. Now I come here to the furnace, put in a piece of coal, and place just one piece of meat on top. And look, the heating part is working. It's heating up. But will it turn into a mineral? I'm really curious to see this, and it turned into cooked beef. Uh, I waited all this time just to find out that this video is fake. Me too, and if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel just for my effort. Look at how many viral videos I had to test to get to this one. Also, comment below which viral video you liked the most.